Okie dokie. He's now I am. Oi, come back here and walk with me. <laughs> Okie dokie. We've had oh, a great day. Um, we travelled from where? Rubyville. Rubyville. We finally got the hell out of Rubyville. Man. And Sapphireville. Well, that too, yeah. And we travelled, what, about 244Ks to, uh, we went through Alpha. Um, uh, we we didn't stop at Jericho. That was pretty busy. There was a few people around, no parking spots, and it was a it was small. We'd like to have stayed, there. Yeah, not stayed there. We would have liked to have flown through and uh, seen a couple of sites. But um, we wanted to get. It was going to be one o'clock here at um, Barkaldine. Barkaldine. Well, we'll find out. We'll be fluent in that name by the time we leave. Um, so yeah, we're we're at a great spot here. This is the showgrounds behind us. Um, the, the road all the way was good for especially our van, the RV. We traveled well, didn't we? Um, it, uh, it was a little lumpy and bumpy in some places. Um, but yeah, obviously the bigger rigs that are all better set up around here with suspension and everything. You guys would have a dream, it's an easy drive. And um, yeah, tiny little town in front of us. Um, the reason we parked here at the showgrounds rather than the free site further down the way we were going to do a free site but it's about a 2k walk um, from there into town now that's not too bad but I want to go into town and have a look at this tree of knowledge during the day and then I wanted to go and have a look at the tree of knowledge at night Rooky dooky right the little uh, four-year-old five-year-old six-year-old back there just told me the name of this place is Barkulden. Thank you. He's onto it. He switched on. So here it is. Oh, Judy is checking out town. The uh, the tree of knowledge, the ghost tree. Behind me, we've got which is kitchen down there. Um, railway hotel. The oh, I don't know. Could it be a Artesian hotel? another one down there, the Shakespeare Hotel. <laughs> as far as I could see, there's another hotel down the bottom there. Man, what does a guy have to do around here to get a drink? Interesting fact of all these hotels, I mean this is Oak Street and I think there was 11 pubs and hotels on Oak Street in Buckholden. Um, this one here, the Artesian, was built back in 1887. And, uh, I don't think there's 11 pubs anymore because some of them got demolished and bit some burned down. But yeah, one off the list. Alrighty, alrighty. So another interesting fact. Earlier on, when we were driving from Rubyvale up here to Bacalden, we called into Alpha. And at Alpha there was a windmill, and the windmill was a Southern Cross. Here at Val Colvin is another windmill, and this windmill is called a Comet. Squeaking away quietly in the background, it is gorgeous. Brody ho! Well, we found probably the best pub in town, the one behind us. The Union, Union Hotel, Motel. Awesome publican, definitely pop in there, have a word with him. It was really interesting. He's got a lot of history. He's um, it's a, been a family pub for such a long time, and gee, great bloke. He's got uh, some good stuff there. Sadly, um, what was it? The the witch's kitchen, the the dinner. Uh, he it was his day off, so we, we weren't able to get a feed. And but we managed to talk with the chef as well, Kiwi bloke from Tauranga. Oi! But no, really uh, top spot. So we're going to tootle our way back to the showgrounds and uh, yeah, have something to eat. I'm probably thirsty by the time we get there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to make the walk back this way uh, tonight and um, see what the, the Tree of Knowledge, uh, the ghost gum, has got to offer for some nighttime viewing. Boogie woogie.
again and company B. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we are heading for the tree of knowledge. Woohoo! <laughs> the tree of knowledge. The ghost gum. The box that some people call it here. Local and the cauldron. The cold iron. Um, yeah, the tree of knowledge. There you have it. This is what I came to see. The tree of knowledge. Or the ghost tree. <laughs> and fabulous at night. Guys, you have got to come see this. Good morning. Early start from uh, Bacaldine. We're heading to Longreach. Viring a machinery mile, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Sorry, a bit of sun on this one. Um, beautiful building in front of me. How nice is that? The way it catches the sunlight. It's the Comet Masonic Lodge and uh, started life way back in 1860, 1876. Yeah, what a grand one. Oh well, must get on the road, get some juice and uh, get to our next destination. See you soon. Alfricombe is the name of the town. A few k's down the road from our last destination. But yeah, this is the Machinery Mile. There's a couple of machineries back down that way, old, old traction engines, rollers and things, storage sites, old trinkets. Phones, typewriters, books, bikes, uh, fossils, and they've made up a, a general store, pills and potions, and sewing machines. And this one here, we've got a bottle collections, and some uh, pill boxes, toys, Pocket knives, some medals, great display of old bottles, look at them all, yeah. and then here, gun collection. behind me um, artesian water I read that it was some 30 odd degrees Celsius and things um, you can go for a swim there it's about the moment's about well, it's, it's early morning um, and it's about 15 16 degrees but uh, we got to keep moving on to long reach lots of machinery there and as I say it's the machinery mile all this old collection of farming implements, industrial machinery, all the way down. Looking great. All these old tractors and trucks, and all those little farm implements that just made life a little bit easier back then. Man, look what we got now. Push buttons, satellite, GPS, drive by itself. 